There are a lot of technologies out there today for the mining industry. And I think we heard this morning around, you know, there really are pockets of excellence in that space. The biggest factor is if there's a need for those technologies. Lots of, mi lots of mining companies have the need. There are lots of technology companies that have the solutions. GE Transportation has lots of solutions, but we need to be able to deliver value. We need to be able to demonstrate the value that those solutions bring and then the mining companies will be willing to change. And we've seen that through some of our implementations here in South Africa. We've implemented technologies where we've been able to have big savings, tens of millions of dollar savings on certain fixed plant mining equipment. The minute you save a crusher from going down or save a mill or save a kiln from going down, that engineer can sleep better at night and he knows that that technology is going to help. That's how people start to embrace the change. One of the things that we're seeing today is that there's a lot of opportunity in other sectors. So from a G transportation technologies arena, we have started to bring in technologies from both our aviation and power space. Those technologies are well evolved, well trodden paths and there is a lot of crossover in digitalization technologies that can be brought into the mining space. You can reapply all sorts of technologies. One of the things that we're seeing, particularly in the, from the power sector, is bringing in um, asset performance management technologies that really work well in the mining space, utilizing machine learning and predictive analytics that was originated from, from power and aviation, really allows the mining sector to be more proactive in predicting when equipment's going to fail, understanding the root cause of why equipment fails, and can better, better produce and cut costs from an efficiency perspective. One of the things that we're seeing from a South African perspective is, is costs that are, that are impacting sustainability. Costs of labor, costs of mining, costs of production. One of the areas that we focus on within GE Transportation is how to help improve those costs. We look particularly at the end-to-end -end mining value chain and how you can apply technologies across that mining value chain to cut costs. But to make it real, it's really to be able to take uh, technologies and apply them where there are problem areas within that particular area within the mining sector. And it's not just from a South African perspective, it is really a mining industry um, challenge at this, at this space. So being able to better predict when equipment's going to fail through the use of um, technologies leveraging digital twins can make sure that you are only bringing equipment down when it really needs to come down, that you aren't wasting costs by calling people out of hours for an emergency breakdown, having to do an emergency shutdown. Using the information that's available helps to cut costs. Two things really. There's so much opportunity within the industry today using understanding the, the technologies end to end, whether it's creating uh, environments for learning within data analytics, creating skills that help to interpret data to, to uh, perform machine learning and prevent breakdowns, or indeed from a, a safety perspective, there's the collision awareness systems, which are fundamental both on surface and underground to preventing and what preventing injuries, fatalities or, or any other safety related hazards where there are vehicles in play.